Alright guys, welcome back. Um, so, in the last tutorial we had the problem that the rocks would teleport off themselves. Uh, and all I did to fix that was just add a check here. If other actor is a character static class. So we're basically saying, is the other actor of type character? Because note that our player is of type character. And we only want to teleport our player if it walks into anything. Anything else that enters the uh, box, we don't want to teleport around, just the character. So we're just making sure it's uh, of type character. These rocks are of type actor, so they're not going to be teleported around when they enter each other's boxes. Um, so I added a bunch more rocks, uh, <laughs> if I'm honest. All I did was copy and paste this half onto this half, so now there's a crazy amount of rocks. It's actually not that easy to make it through. Um, you can get hit pretty easy. And yeah, I'm pretty hopeless at this. Ah, no. Damn it. <laughs> this is really hard. Okay, anyways. Uh, we're gonna make it so that when you get to the end of the level, and you actually get through, um, there's gonna be a finish line, right? And when we hit the finish line, you know, I don't know if I can be bothered making anything that amazing. All we're going to do is when we, you know, go over the finish line, it's going to play a little explosion noise. Um, if you wanted, you could even add your own noise. You could add a little, um, you know, celebration noise or something like that. I don't know. We're going to make an explosion play though. To do that, I've just added another actor class called finish line. So to do that, file, add code to project, actor, next, and then name it finish line or whatever you want. After you do that, finishline.h and .cpp are going to appear here, and I've already put in the trigger enter code uh, into the .h for the finish line. So our finish line is simply just going to be a box, and the box, when walked into, is going to play the little explosion noise or whatever. So we need to make a U-shape component, and I'm going to call this finish line box. Now in the CPP, we're going to initialize finish line box. So finish line box equals create default sub object u box component text and then we'll just call it box or uh, my box I suppose. Now we're going to set generate overlap events to be true, so p generate overlap events equals true, and then simply add on component overlap. Nope, I just want that. Okay, this um, a finish line trigger enter and then just put something in here now we don't want the same problem as last time where a rock can enter the trigger and then play the explosion you know you won the game noise so again we need to check the type so we're gonna say if other actor is a uh, a character static class. There you go. So now we can actually do whatever we want in here. So I'm going to say other actor play sound on actor um, and then we're going to play a sound cue. So I'm going to put this in here. View property edit anywhere so that we can choose the sound from the editor and then um, use sound cue my sound now all we need to do is say play sound on character my sound uh, and there we go that's really it uh, I'm gonna make the root component the box And there you go. Now if I go into the engine and compile. Uh, 
There we go. So let's drag our finish line in. And by default, the box is going to be tiny. What I'm going to do is click on the root component, which is our box. And now we're going to change the box size. So I'm going to do 5 on this axis. Twenty on this axis. In fact, we'll do forty and ten on this axis. So now, if you walk inside of this box, um, you are now going to hear an explosion noise, and we're going to link that explosion noise now. So let's select that, and we'll go explosion. Now let's play our game. So when we get to the finish line, hopefully we will hear an explosion noise, provided I've done everything correctly. So. If we can make it through, that was way too easy actually. I just found a loophole. <laughs> um, but there you go. When we enter the box, it explodes. Note that some of these rocks are entering the finish line as well, but they're not setting off the explosion noise. And that's because we're checking that it is of type character. Anyways, that's our first game. We just made a really simple game. Um, I didn't really think I'd be making one after just three tutorials, but hey. Uh, hopefully that motivates you a little bit more to keep learning, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.